But despite these provisions that I do support, I voted against the supplemental for one key reason. I cannot, in good conscience, support sending billions of additional taxpayer dollars for Prime Minister Netanyahu's military campaign in Gaza. It's a campaign that has killed and wounded a shocking number of civilians. It's created a massive humanitarian crisis with no end in sight. It's inflamed tensions in the Middle East, eroding support among Arab states that had been aligned with Israel. And of course, it has severely compromised any remaining hope, almost all remaining hope for the two-state solution that we all know is ultimately essential for peace in the Middle East. And this is an opinion that is not just my own, but it's expressed by a large majority of Vermonters who have contacted me and shared their dismay at the humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza. And during my years in Congress, uh, Mr. President, like you, I have voted for tens of billions of dollars in aid for Israel. But I cannot send more taxpayer dollars to support Prime Minister Netanyahu's continued bombardment in the wholesale destruction of Gaza, knowing that the calamity that more U.S. bombs and artillery shells will cause for countless more civilians who had nothing, nothing whatsoever to do with the atrocities that were committed by Hamas terrorists on October 7th.